morning and welcome to the garage. <laughs> so today I am cutting Daisy uh, her hair and that's why I haven't done my own because what's the point? I'm going to be covered in hair. I got a little bit more work done this morning on the board and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and get everything glued up and stuck on and I think we will be done. But this little project right here with Miss Ma'am is going to probably take me about an hour. So I want to hurry and get that knocked out. And then that way I can just get ready for the day and start marking things uh, off of my to-do list. So I'm going to go and grab her, get the table set up, all the things, and we are going to get this show on the road. Daisy is all done and I would say that it was very helpful to kind of have her relaxer. It made today so much easier for the both of us. <laughs> so I am going to get all of this hair cleaned up and then I will give her a bath give myself a shower and get all this hair off of me and then we will meet back up. Daisy is all clean. Are you clean? Yeah. You smell so pretty. Here we go with the rooting all the time. <laughs> it's always so funny to me that dogs do that. The other thing that I always wonder is like if baths feel as good to dogs as they do to humans. Like I've always just been curious what they feel like after. Do you feel better? Yeah. All right, so she is going to dry off and I'm gonna get myself ready for the day and then we will get to uh, moving on to do something else. Okie dokie, uh, that is much better. Day, how do you feel? She's all dried, she's got her clothes on, <laughs> she's ready for the day. Okie doke, so I need to do some uh, vacuuming. I need to vacuum this rug right over here. I need to vacuum the living room rug. Tomorrow night is small group, so I need to wipe down the bathrooms. I've got some laundry going, so can y'all do that? 
I have literally never been able to do the the four thing. You know what I mean? Like where your pinky willingly goes down. I always look like this. <laughs> anyway, four. Uh, and then I need to go over the bathrooms. I've got some laundry going and I feel like there was something else that I needed to do, but I can't think of it right now. So I'll have to look at my list. And of course the board. Still working on the board, but we're getting there. It will be done by today. You may not see it because I might be up until midnight, but it will be done today. So stay tuned for that, either at the end of this vlog or tomorrow's vlog. Okay, I am going to just start cracking these things out, get them all done, and then we will meet up and see where we're at, see what we still need to do, and just try to be as productive as we can today. of packages that I wanted to show you before I put them away. So this isn't going to come as a surprise. I'm already planning like my decor and stuff for Christmas and there were a few things that I wanted to add to it this year. So I found this really cute Santa uh, golfer for Christian. And I took the like hanging ribbon off of the top and we're just gonna put this on like his dresser or nightstand or wherever he wants to put it. But we're using it more as like decor versus uh, like an ornament. 
so that is that. And then I found this coaster for Chloe. Uh, she is wanting, so if you watched our At The Lake video, you saw the blanket that she got. That is kind of the vibe that she's wanting to go for for Christmas. Kind of uh, like gingerbread-y, uh, foresty, kind of like that, really girly, but yet on a boho level. <laughs> that is what my assignment is. <laughs> so I need to make sure that I understand the assignment because I feel like there's there's a lot of room for error if I don't make sure I know what she fully wants. So that is that. That's also from Hobby Lobby. So uh, these things are Hobby Lobby and then one from Amazon. So I, you guys know I love nutcrackers, but I have an idea for the loft for three nutcrackers. And then Christian and Chloe are both going to get two, and then we're going to do something totally different for each of them for their rooms. So my three will be different, and then their two will be different, but they will all be DIY. So that will be um, coming. I don't know if that will be during Vlogmas or before Vlogmas. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be before. But these were $9.99 and then they were uh, 50 or 60% off. I don't remember. It was one of the two. And then I got these little pine cone picks that I'm going to use with these. So I have an idea where I'm going to, and I need to go to Savers. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get over there this week or not, but I'm going to try. I want to find cake plates, like little cake plates, and then I want to put this wreath on top of the cake plate, and then I will cut these off and then stick them in here, and then we'll put a pillar candle on a battery, of course, and then these will just all be different levels. So for instance, You'll have one up here, one down there, and maybe one, you know, like it. They'll all be at different heights is what I'm trying to say. So that is that. These were $8.99 and then whatever the discount was. And then here I got these bulbs today, which I'm a little bit obsessed with. I am not sure if I'm going to leave this, this color or if I am going to uh, use some rub and buff to make that gold. We shall see. But let me just show you what I'm thinking. So obviously the fall eucalyptus or whatever it's called is going to go away. I was thinking that I could spray paint my branches gold and then hang these from the branches because it totally has the colors that I love. It brings kind of the green element over here without having to use actual greenery. I kind of love that. And so that's kind of the idea that I'm toying with, but we shall see what comes about. Uh, I know I'm going to get a question for those of you that are just meeting me. <laughs> yes, I decorate early. And I have reasoning for that. Number one, I just like to take my time. And I like to do DIYs and just all of the things. And if I were to try to do that, like the day after Thanksgiving, it would be up for like three days and I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. I wouldn't be able to have peace because I would be running around like a mad woman trying to get everything decorated and DIY'd and all of the things. I have decorated in November for years since we lived in Georgia. And the reasoning back then was because 
we lived so far away from family. All of our family uh, at that time lived in Lincoln, Nebraska. And so we would travel for Thanksgiving and Christmas back in those days. And we were always the ones having to drive to Lincoln and all of that because everybody was there. And uh, so it only made sense to me to decorate early because otherwise I was never going to be able to enjoy it because we were always on the road while everybody else was at their house <laughs> enjoying their Christmas decorations. So I just decided to start decorating early so that we would be able to enjoy it and it wasn't like blink and it was over. So now I just kind of do that as well. We don't travel as much for the holidays anymore, but it still goes to that whole thing like I want to get it decorated because I want this holiday season to be peaceful and I don't want the crazy and the hustle and the bustle. That's not fun for me. <laughs> I do not hustle and bustle uh, well. I, I can hustle and bustle if I had a plan prior and I know what I need to be a doing, but uh, just a spur of the moment hustle and bustle, not my fave. So that is kind of my idea behind decorating early. We host a lot of parties during uh, the Christmas season. Actually, my favorite things party this year, which I've done for years, but it's on December 1. So if I were to try to get all of that together prior to that party, again, I would be a crazy person and I wouldn't enjoy it and it wouldn't be peaceful or memorable for me anyway. Uh, and so I just like to do it early and take my time and enjoy it and plan it out and have it be intentional and not just like, you know, throw everything up and whatever sticks, sticks. So that is kind of my background. Uh, around why why I decorate early and why you will see early decorating here on my channel. <laughs> so don't be alarmed. Everybody has their own thing. Growing up, we never decorated until Thanksgiving evening. Like we did the whole Thanksgiving festivities and all of that. And then that night we decorated for Christmas. And it was glorious and I remember that, but that was also in a day where decorating wasn't what it is today. It's very different today. You have Pinterest, you have all the things and you don't have to use all that stuff. It's just, I feel like today's decor is not like 1980s, 1990s when I grew up decor. So anyway, we will be getting into some of that. In other news, I actually, decided to mop all of the floors here on the first floor. So I did the bathroom, the laundry, the hall, and then here in the kitchen, living room entry, and then uh, this hallway down here. Tomorrow, like I said, is small group. And so I just kind of wanted to get everything nice and clean and fresh and ready. Plus then I don't have to do it again uh, before my in-laws come on Friday. So it was kind of a one and done thing for me, but all of the laundry is put away and that is a great feeling. I've got these two things here that need to go downstairs with me when I go back downstairs to work on the board. And what else? I need to put these things away uh, that I just showed you. And then again, still planning and loving every second of it. So I would say that everything is kind of ready to go. I think I can shut these lights off. I am actually home alone except for Day. Hi, Day. She is so excited to just be laying and not getting a haircut. <laughs> but you are so pretty now. Yes, you are so pretty. Uh, anyway, I am home alone. Chloe, 
uh, she drove her car to the um, soccer game. She got her car today, so that was super exciting for her. And so now I have another one on the road. <sighs> Mercy. It's, parenting is such an emotional <laughs> thing. Like I love that they have their independence and all of that, but man, the worry that comes when you've got kids on the road, oof. Anyways, I know I'm not the first one and I'm not the last, but uh, I am for sure in it. So she is there, Sam is late tonight and Christian's working. So it's just Daisy and I, and I think I am actually going to close out this vlog. I'm gonna go downstairs, totally knock out that board have it all done to be able to show you tomorrow and it will be fantastic. Tomorrow is my last physical therapy appointment. Let us all raise hands in the sanctuary. Oh, friends, this is five and a half months and I am like, I'm, I'm ready to wave them all goodbye. They've been lovely but I'm ready to wave them goodbye <laughs> and have uh, my days kind of back a little bit. So I think I'm going to just knock that out downstairs. That way it is all done and ready for Friday uh, when I have to put it up. And then that way we can just kind of have fun and uh, do the things that we need to for the rest of the week but then also maybe we can get over to Savers. We will see. As always, I would love to know who I got to spend the day with today. So if you hung out with me, please put the pine cone emoji down in the comments below. The QR code is up above for the Amazon storefront. It shows you everything that I talk about in these videos but also just things that I think might be helpful for you. And last, if you are not subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would just click on that subscribe button, click the bell, it will notify you every time a new video is out. My goal at the beginning of 2024 was to get to 25,000 uh, subscribers. I had a plan, I had a goal, I had all the things, and then cancer. And I had to take a break from YouTube to go through all of that. And so I definitely lost some time on here. And so I would just love it if you would click the like button, share me with your friends so that we can get to 25,000. That's just kind of my way of giving the devil the finger through all of this. You guys have heard me say that a thousand times through this whole journey. And I just think that if I can still get to 25,000 with all of that, that the devil did, I can just give him the finger and show him, you know what? Sorry, you don't get to win today. So I would love it if you would help me uh, reach that goal by like I said, clicking the like, subscribing, sharing it, whatever you want to do, I would be much appreciative of it. All right, friends, be intentional about what is important and necessary and eliminate all of the rest. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.